Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer one of the Java interview questions. That is, write a Java program to print the input from scanner class. Let me answer this question with practical demonstration. In Java, we have a predefined class known as scanner class, using which we can receive the input from the user while the program is getting executed. In this Java program, I have to print such kind of input that is received from the user while the program is getting executed. Okay. And how to receive this input in Java programs? Scanner class. Okay. All these things I'm going to practically demonstrate now in this session. So for that, I'll switch to this Eclipse ID. Here we have a project. Under this project, under this one of the package, I'll create a new class. I'll just uh, name this class as uh, scanner input demo okay you just give any name that's fine and here public static void main i'll auto generate the code and here if you can see the program got auto generated here now inside this main method i'll write the code okay so i would like to receive the input from the user for example i would like to receive the name okay whatever the user who is uh while running this code whatever the user is there the name of that particular user has to be entered and that name I'll print in the output. Simple program. Okay. So fine. So in order to receive the input from the user, I have to write or create an object for the scanner class. Scanner scanner is equal to new scanner. Scanner is a predefined class in Java, guys. Okay. Pour the mouse on this scanner. Pour the mouse on this scanner. Import it from java.util package. And this constructor cannot be empty. Here inside this constructor, we have to write system dot in in Java. Okay. Once this is done, you can use this object reference scanner dot. Here you have some methods like next. When you type next, lot of things will come. Okay. Uh, next line is some command that we have to use. Okay. Next line. It will receive the input from the user in string format. Okay. Just select this next line, which will receive the input from the user in string format. Because in this program, we decided to uh, intake the input in the form of uh, name and all name is generally in string format. So I'm just choosing next line. Whatever the input that is received, okay, by the scanner class uh, method that is next line method, would like to store into a variable. So here, I'll simply say name, okay, username or whatever the name, over the mouse, the return type of next line is string as you can see here, over the mouse and say create local variable the return type of the next line will get added to this name. Okay, fine. Now we got the name. Okay, while running the code, the user will input uh, some name and that name will be stored into this name. Okay, now I'll print it out. Okay, as you see, as per the program, what I have to do, write a Java program to print the input received from scanner. Okay, using the scanner, whatever the input I have received from the user, that I have to print it out. In order to print it out, I have to just copy this name and paste it here. That's it done. But there is a problem with this program. I'll show you practically when I run this code, the user will not understand whether the user has to enter the name in the output while the program is running. Okay. Though the program is correct, this program will help you in, you know, uh, type, uh, receiving the input from the user and all and the, uh, user input will be printed in the output. Everything is fine guys, but still there's a problem in this program. I'll tell you what is a problem. Right click run as Java application. I've run the program guys. And you can see the program execution will start. Still running guys, just wait. The program execution will start. Okay, where is output console not coming? Okay, the output console was, you know, closed somehow. So what I did is like, I just went to window and select show view. And here there is a console option I selected. The console came, okay. The program is running guys. You see the program is, I'll terminate it. And again, I'll run it for you. Rightly run as Java application. The output console will come. The output console is there and it is, program is running guys. But uh, you know, here it's asking for the input. As you can see, there is a cursor blinking out, but the instructions are not good. This word is a problem I, I was still talking about, okay? So how to overcome this problem? The user, is not able to understand whether some input has to be given here or not. Okay, I'll terminate this program. I'll make this program more user friendly. So 
though this code is right, it will receive the input from the user, in the string format and all, but still there is a problem where some directions are missing. The directions are before accepting this input here, just write down some print statement for the output purpose. So this particular text will guide the user in entering some text. Okay. Enter your name. Let's say, okay, like this. I'll just give something like this, save this and run this code guys. Right click on as job obligation. Now you see in the output, uh, everything is fine. Enter your name. And here you see cursor is blinking. Here I have to enter my name. Let's say I'm entering my name like Arun Motori. This Arun Motori input while running the program, the program is still running guys. While running the program, I am as a user entering my name as an input to this program. This will be received by this next line command and will be stored into this name variable and that name will be printed here. Okay. When well, the moment I press enter here, you see the output has been printed. Okay. This print statement has printed whatever the input this program has received from me. Okay. Or we can also make it better. Like, you know, uh, you were uh, otherwise welcome. Welcome some name. Okay. So I'm just modifying it a bit so that uh, it will make some difference. Right. Like run as job obligation. Again, it will say enter your name here. I'll be entering, you know, my name Arun Motori. And the moment I press enter, it will say welcome Arun Motori. Okay. Fine. And also here the scanner, there's a warning message coming in the scanner. There's no problem in this. You can still have this program as it is without any problem. Since there is a warning message, it's not an error. It's a warning message. It's saying resource leak scanner is never closed. As part of the best practice, once you receive the input, once the task is done, you can close the object. Okay. You can close guys here or here somewhere. Scanner dot uh, simply say close. Okay. So it will close the object and you know, the memory leak will not happen anymore. Again, the, you know, default mechanism of Java in cleaning up the stuff. Okay. Of the memory, unused memory. Okay. All these things are not required as part of this practice. Once the task is done with the scanner, you can close the object so that memory leak will not happen anymore. Okay. So this is the code guys. This is the code uh, that we have to write in Java uh, for in taking the input from the user and printing it in the output console, whatever the input that is has been taken that can be uh, printed in the output console with the help of this program. And here in this program, we have used a class known as scanner class. Okay. So this answer for this question guys, write a Java program to print the input from scanner. Okay. So I'll just copy paste this uh, code. Okay. I'll just copy paste this code. Fine code. And then here I'll provide the code. That's it. So this is what is the session all about guys this is all the answer for this particular question. One of the Java interview questions. So that's all for this session. Thank you. Bye-bye.